بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ایز یو کین سی دا ٹاپک ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو ڈسکس ود یو گوز جارڈن میتھڈ ان ادر وے آف ہینڈلنگ اور سالونگ ہوموجینس سسٹم آف لینئر اکویشنس دس میتھڈ از ویری مچ کنیکٹیڈ ٹو دا گوزین ایلیمنیشن میتھڈ اینڈ آئی ہیو ڈسکس دیٹ already in one of my previous videos if you want to have a look you can find the link in the description box so uh, once when we have exhaustively discussed Gaussian elimination out there Gauss Jordan is an extension of Gaussian elimination method okay so I prefer that you must watch Gaussian elimination method if you haven't uh, any haven't got any acquaintance to that you just watch that video first and after that just move up uh, move on over here uh, to this one okay so here I have just managed a very uh, lovely example I must say uh, containing three equations of homogeneous linear equation of three variables so in other words it's, it is a trivariate a uh, homogeneous system of linear equations okay so i just name these equations that equation 1 2 and 3 okay just like that so uh, as you know that we have to make three matrices here one matrix is uh, so formed by uh, compiling all the coefficients of the variables of all these three equations another column matrix will be formed by writing uh, the variables in a vertical order and the third matrix will be formed by writing these values okay and we just call this matrix as b matrix x as the variable matrix and the coefficient matrix we represent by a so so it would be a format like this ax equals to b okay so what is your a you just accumulate all the coefficients nicely with the proper gap among them like this so see these are all the coefficients that I have just maintained here over there and now x is a column matrix uh, containing all the three variables in a vertical format like this and matrix B is containing those numbers which are written at the right hand side of all these three equations so this is it okay now we have to make an augmented matrix so uh, it is represented by this notation so in augmented matrix we actually fuse matrix A and matrix B This is your matrix A. And either you just maintain a dotted line or you maintain a solid line. I'm used to maintaining a solid one, so I just make a demarcation and I just write my matrix B elements. So this is what you, uh, what, what you call an augmented, augmented matrix. now now what we have to do we have to make the diagonal elements of this 3 by 3 matrix a which is so present in this augmented we have to maintain these diagonal elements into one we have to convert them into one okay so uh, that's the major uh, objective so after that once when we make this element into one we have to make all the numbers which are below this one into zero then we have to convert this element to 1 and the numbers which are right below it into 0 and then we have to convert this element into 1 that's it and after that we have to convert the upper diagonal uh, upper triangle of this diagonal into 0 later on so this what we uh, this is something that we do in the gauss jordan so the first step we have to convert this element into 1 so what we do either i can divide this entire row by my net by negative three this is one way another way 
as the third row already contains the first element one so i can interchange the row this is another uh, option i've got so i prefer this option so whenever i interchange the row i always write a negative sign outside the matrix okay so i prefer this option and I'm going to interchange my row 1 by row 3. Okay, I'm interchanging it. Okay, you can write either R13 or you can write R31 representing interchanging and that's it. So I'm interchanging, so I write my one negative sign outside or you write negative 1, whatever you want. So I'm interchanging my row 1 with my row 3. Row 2 will be copied as it is, as it is, that's it, okay? Now we have to convert these two elements which are right below the first uh, uh, element of the lead of the diagonal. It is converted into 1, I have to convert all the elements which are right below this one into 0. So what I'm going to do. I will write my first row as it is okay that's it and then what I have to do I have to make this element 0 so R2 I'm, I'm performing my operation on R2 so I will write my R2 first and then I'm subtracting how about if I multiply my row 1 with my 5 and then I subtract it with my R2 so in this way I will get 0 here so this is the operation that I'm going to perform. So 5 minus 5 into 1. So let me make, a, let me maintain a rough work here. So 5 minus 5 times 1 equals to 0. It is giving me 0 here. And then 7 minus 5 times 4. 7 minus 5 times 4 could give me 7 minus 20 gives me negative 13 okay this is negative 13 and then minus 5 minus 5 times minus 2 so minus 5 minus 5 times minus 2 could give me minus 5 plus 10 give me 5 give me 5 okay 6 minus 5 times 8 6 minus 5 times 8 it gives me one it gives me six minus negative 40 okay so it gives me negative 34 yeah that's it now we come to the third row we have to convert this number this element into zero so what i do i'm performing my operation in r3 so i will write my r3 here and if i multiply my row 3 with 3 my row 1 with 3 and then I add up in my R3 I will get 0 here because R3 this element is with a negative sign that's why I'm going to add it up that's it so minus 3 plus 3 times 1 give me 0 okay and let's and then 2 min 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 3 times 4 it gives me what? 12 plus 2 would give me 14. I write 14 here. And then minus 6 plus 3 times minus 2. Okay. So it gives me what? It gives me minus 6 minus 6 give me minus 12. Now I write my minus 12 here nicely. And then 6 plus 3 times 8 plus 3 times 8. It gives me what? 24 plus 6 gives me 30. I will write my 30 here. Okay, so this is it. Now we have to focus on the second element of my diagonal. I have to convert this thing into 1. So either I can divide my entire row 2 with my negative 30, or if I add my R3 with my R2, then this thing will convert into 1. So you have got two options. So I just prefer my second option here. And my 
a negative sign will be copied here. And I just decide to add up my R3 with my R2. Okay. So I will copy my R1 as it is. I will copy my R3 as it is. Okay, and I'm just performing my row operation on my R2. So R2 plus R3, it gives me 0. Minus 13 plus 14, it gives me 1. Okay, 5 minus 12, it gives me negative 7. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. And then 30 minus 34, it gives me minus 4. That's it. Now I have to convert this element into 0. So what I do, I will, I will subtract uh, 14 times my R2 from my R3. Okay, and this way I will get this thing 0. Come to the next page now. So we have to focus over here. So what I am doing I'm going to subtract 14 times my R2 from my R3. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So I will just copy my R1 and R2 as it is. And now I'm going to perform my work. Okay. So you see, it's 14 minus 14. It gives me 0 okay then minus 12 minus 14 times minus 7 so minus 12 minus 14 times minus 7 it gives me what it gives me minus 12 plus 28 okay it gives me 16 and then 30 minus 7 times, uh, 14 times, oh, I'm sorry, it is 14 here, I'm extremely sorry, so it's negative 12 minus 14 times minus 7. So on solving, it is giving me minus 12 plus 98. So on solving, it gives me 86. So this is my 86. Okay. And then 30 minus 14 times minus 4. 30 minus 14 times minus 4. It gives me 30 plus 56. It again gives me 86. Okay. So this is my 86. I have to convert this this element the third or and the last element of, of this diagonal i have to convert this thing into one so what i do i will divide my entire row three with my 86 okay i will divide my entire row three with my 86 so i will just copy my first two rows as it is i will copy them as it is I divide this row with my 86 so I get 1 and 1 here okay now the first job is done we converted diagonal elements into one and the triangle which is below this diagonal I we have converted in, uh, into zero now in the Jordan what we do we have to convert the upper triangle elements into zero as well okay unlike our Gaussian elimination we have to convert this uh, triangle elements into zero too. So what we do, we just uh, convert uh, the elements which are right above our last element or last one of the diagonal. 
uh, we have to convert these elements into zero first and then we have to convert this element into zero so what we do we just we just do what we just copy the diagonals as it is we copy these zeros as it is we copy the last row as it is and then we have now to convert these two elements into zero so what we do if I just, if I just perform my operation on my row one first I have to convert minus two into zero okay. so what I do I'm going to add two times row three with my row one because this element is with the negative sign that's why I'm performing addition here so minus 2 plus 2 times 1 give me 0 okay 4 plus 2 times 0 give me 4 okay and 8 plus 2 times into 1 give me 10 that's what I write okay and now I have to convert this element into 0 so what I do I will add 7 times R3 with my R2, okay, in my R2. So minus 7 plus 7 times 1 give me 0. Minus 4 plus 7 times 1 give me 3. All right, now this thing is done. We have now to, we now have to convert this element into 0. So what we do, what we do we have to subtract 4 times r2 from our r1 all right so we just copy our diagonal elements as it is we copy the lower triangle elements as it is we copy row 3 and row 2 as it is okay now we are uh, going to perform over here r1 minus 4 times r2 give me 1 4 minus 4 times 1 give me 0 0 minus 4 times 0 give me 0 14 minus 4 times uh, 3 it gives me minus 2 okay 10 minus 12 give me minus 2 so now it's done you see this element is representing well if we now convert uh, if, we, if we try to write the equation because these are the coefficients of the variables so 1 multiplied by x plus 0 multiplied by y plus 0 multiplied by z so only x is left and is equals to minus 2 0 times x plus 1 times y plus 0 times z so only y is here it is equals to 3 okay 0 times x plus 0 times y plus 1 times z it is equals to 1 so that's how you solve the values uh, the, uh, of the unknown variables here now question arise are these values really correct or not so you can perform a check work and you can select any of uh, any equation out of those three which were given over here you can select any of these three equations you want and you can check whether these answers are satisfying the equation or not okay so I just select my first equation and it's minus 3 times x Plus 2 times y minus 6 times z and should be equal to 6 okay you can see it's 6 plus 6 minus 6 equals to 6 this and this cancel so it is satisfying the equation so this is it that's how you solve okay this is what you call it Gauss Jordan method so I hope uh, the concept is not clear so try to excite as much as you can to gain the math to gain mastery in this uh, method, and don't forget 
to write your feedback in the comment box below and please subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can with your friends and other learners and please remember me in your prayers take good care of yourself allah